Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribunet. My name is Manoj. Today, in this video, let us learn about stick slip phenomena. What is stick slip phenomena? The phenomena of stick slip involves the dynamic interaction between two surfaces where they alternatively stick together and then slide over one another, leading to fluctuations in the force of friction between them. In general, when two surfaces are at rest, the force required to initiate the moment is higher than the force required to sustain it. Once the applied force surpasses the threshold of static friction, the friction reduces to a lower level known as a kinetic friction, resulting in a sudden increase in the velocity of the moment. This behavior arises from the difference in the friction coefficients between static and kinetic states and can lead to the interesting and sometimes unpredictable moments in various systems. Here we can see the concept of stick slip in the friction force versus the sliding time graph. What is the relation between the Strybeck curve and the stick slip phenomena? Stick slip behavior is closely related to the concept of Strybeck curve. Stick slip behavior primarily occurs in the boundary and mixed lubrication regimes. As the system transitions from the boundary to the hydrodynamic regime, increasing Strybeck number, the stick slip motion tends to diminish and the friction becomes more stable and consistent. Therefore, understanding the Strybeck curve and its lubrication regimes is crucial in controlling and mitigating stick slip phenomena in sliding contact systems by selecting appropriate lubricants and operating conditions. Here in this figure, we can see the stick slip phenomena in the liquid lubricants at the counter interface. Stick slip phenomena in different machinery parts. Linear motion in machinery is not continuous, like radial bearings. In linear bearings, the motion must stop at the end of the guideway and then return in the opposite direction. This stop and go moment leads to linear recirculating bearings spending more time in what is known as the mixed lubrication zone, which makes them susceptible to a phenomena called as stick slip. With recirculating bearings, when motion starts, lubrication is drawn into the contact area between the two surfaces. This reduces the direct contact between the surfaces and causes the friction force to decrease. As the speed increases, the lubricant film increases, further reducing the friction. However, beyond a certain point, the friction starts to rise again, generating the viscous drag. Therefore, using the correct type of and the amount of the lubrication for the recirculating bearings is crucial to avoid issues. In this figure, we can see the stick slip phenomena in the bearings. What do we conclude in this video? The recent advancements in both experimental and theoretical studies have provided valuable insights into the integrate phenomena of stick slip sliding. The experimental findings, particularly those with involving the smooth surfaces and the liquid lubricants, align well with the concept of the rate and state dependent models, which consider velocity and time dependent phase transitions for the stick slip friction. Remarkably, the observations suggest that the distance dependent models or the classical models based on negative friction force velocity profiles were not necessary to explain the behavior of such idealized systems, and these advancements represent the significant step towards the comprehending the underlying mechanism governing the stick slip. These are the references for the information provided in this video. And in this video, we studied what is a stick slip phenomena, what is the relation between the Strybeck curve and the stick slip phenomena, stick slip phenomena in different machinery parts, and the conclusion. Thank you for watching this video. To get more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribunet. Also visit our website on www.tribunet.org.